Hey, you want to see what I'm doing today? I'm going to talk about supplements. You want to learn what supplements I'm taking, why I'm taking them, and when's the best time to take them? Hang out. I'll answer all those questions for you. Come on. Hang out. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Um, I know I am. So, um... Hopefully, uh, you know, you're having a good week. Hopefully everything is going well. Um, we're having some cool weather here. So, um, you know, kind of dressing warm. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of unusual for us in Southern California to be having this kind of weather, but it's good. So um, I'm kind of enjoying it and uh, the, the making it, it's making really good for a good night's sleep and everything else. So, um, hey, all you new folks, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by and visit, uh, visiting um, hopefully you stick around and uh, enjoy it. Hopefully, uh, you know, you can see whether you like it or not. Uh, so hang out for a while and, and see what you think. Um, you guys that are returning, sure subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the ones that motivate me, drive me. You know, you're the ones that uh, really keep me going. So um, so today, on, uh, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about supplements. I had saw my pal Misty do this a while ago. Um, so... I kind of wanted to do it as well, so I kind of wanted to go through it. Um, I got, I think, nine, eight or nine, maybe ten things here that I take pretty regularly every day. Some, I guess I would call them all supplements. Um, maybe they're not supplements, I don't know. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to talk about what they are, why I take them, you know. Um, and I'm not going to get into too deep of them just because of the fact that there's quite a few of them. If there's particular ones that you'd like more information on or more about, I can do a much deeper in depth video on one or two of them or three of them um, and, and we can dive into much more of the research and details around um, those, vit those vitamins and or supplements and, and why I'm taking them and, and all that stuff. So, but hey, hopefully uh, you, know, you find out some good information from this. Hopefully you learn a few things from this. Um, you have questions, let me know. I always learn things because you guys are... are you know, Johnny on the spot, I guess you'd call it, or, you know, you'd, you're able to give me answers and things that I have questions for, um, or maybe point out things that I missed. Um, so, um, so hopefully we get started with that. Um, I'm going to put this out of the way. Um, I do have some notes in here. So just so you know, I'm looking down at them. Um, I'm not trying to avoid anybody or anything else. I'm just trying to, to make sure that I'm covering everything I wanted to cover. Um, and the first thing that, that I wanted to kind of talk about was the collagen, right? So collagen is something that I take every morning. I put it in my coffee. I have it. I have a Bulletproof coffee. So I have that collagen every morning. So this is the brand I have. Um, I like it. It works good. I've tried several other brands. This was the one that my wife and I settled on. Um, and, and it has worked good, really good for us. So um, why do I take it? Of course, you know about, it's, uh, you know, how it takes care of your skin, um, it improves, you know, um, your skin, your, your hair, your nails, and all that good stuff like that. Um, and that's generally, so I'm trying to look at you, I'm trying to not look at my notes. So, um, so really, uh, um, really it's a major component of all the tissue that's in your body. Um, several parts that include tendons, ligaments, your skin, your muscles. All right, so it improves your skin as, you, as we know it, and, and you always hear it, and it improves your elasticity, the hydration in your skin, so it supposedly makes you look a lot nicer, it'll make your skin tone a lot nicer. It also strengthens your skin, so your skin's a lot stronger in general, right? So, um, so that's one of it. Um, um, it really has, uh, it really helps you maintain the integrity of the cartilage. That's the, the, the substance between the bones and everything else. So especially if you're working out and you're running and walking, um, like we're doing with Jarek's journey right now, walking a lot. So um, it really helps maintain with that cartilage that's between bones and it protects one bone from, from jamming against the others. It does help reduce joint pain as well. Um, and of course, when you, as you get older, you have a lot more aches and pain. So that really helps a lot. Um, you know, it prevents bone loss, right? So it continues to help promote bone gain and uh, it will help stop uh, uh, reverse arthro, uh, arthro, yeah, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, osteoporosis, osteosporosis, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's, you know, so 
Um, it, it's late in the evening, and I, I, I've been up all day, so... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but it helps helps with osteoporosis. So, um, so really, it helps boost muscle mass and everything else. So it's, it's just a really good all-around thing. Um, I can tell you when I'm not taking it, and, and I can really feel it. And then when I start taking it again, I can feel that extra boost. Um, I could feel it. I could feel it in my skin, my my nails. Um, what should do more for my hair? As far as growing hair, it doesn't do much for growing hair. So, um, but it does good for your hair, nice and soft. What little I have left. Um, but it's really good. So you know, again, I do it more for the bone uh, and the tissues and the tendons and um, that kind of stuff because my body goes through a heck of a beating. I think between the walking, the running, and and the working out and in the day-to-day -day living, right? So <clears throat> I'm trying to, to to keep that bone density and everything else up on uh, as I get older, right? So so that's why I take that. Um, it's a really, really good thing to take. Um, you know, sorry about that. I was kind of a little, little messed up with that. So, <laughs> so of course, if you're taking the, the collagen, you got to take vitamin C with it. Where is the vitamin C? Ah, uh, right here. The vitamin C. Um, now, vitamin C... Um, actually kind of goes along with the collagen. Um, your body can't absorb the collagen without vitamin C, right? So um, vitamin C is actually what they call a, 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 a water-soluble uh, vitamin too. So it, it means it dissolves in water really well. So um, you really need, you need to take this with the, or not with the collagen, but sometime during the day you have to take it uh, to make the collagen work, right? So you need vitamin C in your blood um, for the collagen to work. So you need to take this. Of course, you know that this helps with your, you know, your blood vessels, uh, mus muscle tissues. Uh, again, uh, helps with a lot of the same stuff, bones, uh, skin, uh, water soluble. Um, it's good for helping with your detox and everything else that you do. Um, it actually improves your blood sugar as well. Um, associate, it also uh, is associating with, uh, helping with, uh, you know, gallbladder and heart disease and cancer and osteoporosis again. So again, right, and, and everybody knows that it boosts immunity, right? So that's what everybody's kind of known to take. So, so vitamin C and collagen kind of go hand in hand together, right? So, and then the next one I take, I take a fish oil every day as well. So again, I take a fish oil because, you know, it's good for your heart, right? Um, it helps lower your blood pressure. Right. It also helps with your high cholesterol. So if you have high cholesterol or you have uh, triglycerides, this helps with that. So it'll help reduce it, help keep it under control. Um, right. It will keep the um, help keep your arteries free from plaque or help keep the, the the plaque from building up in your arteries. So you know, of course, by doing that, it's preventing heart disease and heart stroke, uh, heart attacks and strokes. So. So it's a really, really good thing to, to take, um, especially as you get older. Um, this is something I want to take um, and I have take. And when you're taking it too, you know, like I said, I go in here and I get a look kind of at the DHA and the EPA. And those are the things that you're really, really looking for at this. And, and you really want to look at trying to get something that's as high as you can get um, in those two categories um, that, that has both of them, especially the, the, the DHA. So... Um, you want something as high as you can get, so that's that's the one that really helps with the art, um, getting all of the, the stuff, the gunk out of your uh, arteries and stuff of that nature. So, so good good to take, right? Um, the other things I would say is vitamin D. Now I take my vitamin D. I do take a vitamin D, but I also it's a vitamin D and a vitamin K too, right? So. Again, um, vitamin D, it's also known as the sunshine vitamin because it's the sun, it's the vitamin you get from the sunshine when you're outside. Um, with the wintertime coming up, plus when you're working indoors all day and everything else, you don't get a whole lot of uh, vitamin D. So I take a supplement for that, um, right? So again, um, it's really vital for this to take a, um, for this to really absorb calcium into your bones and everything else. So, so this is something that you need to, uh, to fortify your bones is that vitamin D, right? It also uh, helps facilitate uh, in your immune system and boosting your immune systems. I know for a while during the whole uh, thingamajig that's been going on for the last year and two years, um, everybody was talking about taking vitamin D during it. Um, I was doing it long before they started that, but it also helps with your heart disease or help 
prevent heart disease. Um, it will also help you reduce the likelihood of you getting the flu, right? It helps you, you know, with your depression or keeps you from getting into depression. It also can help with weight loss too, so, right? So it's a, it's a good vitamin to have. Um, so I do take it with the K2 as well. Um, the K2, a little bit different, um, just because it's not known a whole lot, right? So they don't talk about it a whole lot. So um, K2 is really kind of like the, the fish oils. It actually helps keep the, uh, um, the cholesterol in check, and it also keeps all of that higher, what they call the DHLA, or DHL, DHL? The, the really bad cholesterol. It keeps it moving and not sticking to anything in your, uh, in your veins and everything else. So it really uh, helps uh, everything moving. So you don't get those build up in your arteries and stuff of that nature. So it really helps um, fight against the, uh, uh, the diseases, the heart diseases and uh, you know, the, the strokes and the different things of that, much like the, the fish oil. So, K2 just keep helps that kind of coats the uh, the the, mal, the uh, I guess the the, the um, coats all of the cholesterol so it just keeps moving and it doesn't stick right so that's kind of the premise behind it right um, it keeps the calcium moving so you don't get that calcium deposits and buildups in your body so so that's kind of what it does it has the D2 in it D3 actually in it and a K2 in it um, so I guess it's up here right. Looking at the wrong one. So that's the one I take. It's, it's a really good vitamin um, combination. <clears throat> and again, it's something as you get older that you want to pay more attention to, right? So, um, of course, after the vitamin D, uh, magnesium is the next thing I take. Um, I've been taking this since I started doing keto. Again, it's one of those things where your body starts getting depleted of it. So when you go into keto, you... Uh, you, you lose a lot of salt and you're, you're urinating out a lot of salt and flushing out a lot of salt and stuff. So when you're doing that, you're losing a lot of the magnesium in your body. Um, magnesium is really important in your body, believe it or not, you know, um, <clears throat> cause it, it really does. Um, it, 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 I would say it helps create energy in uh, your mitochondrial, which is, and it helps call what they call a ATP, um, which is, uh, the, um, it, it helps the cells carry out their function, you know, the oxygen and the blood and everything else. So it, <clears throat> it helps promote all that stuff, right? So, um, and when you're taking it, it's also called the calming, um, the calming mineral as well, because of the fact that it causes a calming effect uh, on you as yourself, right? So it helps reduce your stress. Um, it helps you sleep better. Um, it, it reduces muscle tension in your body. Um, but it does at the same time, it's boosting your immune systems. There's a whole list of really good things that this does, right? So it improves your mental performance, right? So um, it relieves pains, it relieves headaches, it can prevent migraines. Um, so, right, it helps reduce anxieties, um, increases energy. So, so, so those are all really, really good benefits from, from, from magnesium. And that's why I take it. Uh, it's really, really good for you. Uh, really, really healthy now. There's several different types of it that, that are out there. I take the, this glycinate. The glycinate is um, much easier to digest on your stomach because if you take some of the other ones, they can be kind of harsh on your stomach. This one is very easy on your stomach. It also digests in, uh, at a very slow rate and absorbs into your body uh, at a very slow rate, whereas some of them um, go very fast and uh, and dige digest and, and don't even last in your body. So um, there's like magnesium oxide that you can get and generally that's what you're buying and if you look at it it'll say magnesium oxide and it, I'm going to tell you you take it an hour later it's gone so um, it's really not worth taking most of it does not get absorbed you're just flushing it out an hour later and, and very little of it gets absorbed <clears throat> whereas the glycinate gets absorbed and uh, it's really really a good thing to, to have so um, the next thing I take is a zinc tablet every day too as well right um, so, and the zinc, uh, really is, uh, again, um, let's see, it really boosts your immune systems, right? It helps heal if you get cut or hurt or anything else. It helps your healing. Um, it helps with a lot of the age related diseases as well. Um, and also reduce acne and, uh, uh reduce, uh, uh, inflammation as well. So that's so another one that I take as well. So. 
Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about, and I don't know whether I call it a supplement, but I take it, the MTC oil. I have this in my Bulletproof coffee every, every day, just about with the exception of the days I'm doing protein sparing, modifying, fasting, because it's an oil. So what it really is, is a medium chain triglyceride. So this is just coconut oil. So they take out, um, like on this one is, um, uh, the molecules are the chains eight and 10, what they call uh, out of the, the, the DNA molecule. They take out the, the chain, they take out the links uh, eight and 10. And that's what this is all about. So, so there's nothing else in there but that. And um, the eight is probably the better of the two. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's what you're looking for is a high number of eight uh, on it. If you see high tens or twelves on it, then it's probably not a really great grade of MTC oil. So you really want to pay attention to the labels and what they are. I will tell you that this really does do the trick. When you take this, um, you can feel that you took it about 10 or 15 minutes after you've taken it. You can feel it in your body. At least I can anyway. Um, really, so it does promote uh, weight loss, just to let you know. So that's one of the things it does. Um, it also releases a couple of hormones that tells you and triggers your body to say that, that it uh, has full and it's satisfied and doesn't want any more food. Um, you would think I'd be drinking this stuff by the gallons. Um, but, you know, it, it, when, you, when you take this and drink it, it actually goes right into your gut and it goes directly to your liver. It doesn't go into your digestive system whatsoever. It has like a free pass and goes right to your um, right to your liver and turns into ketones. So, um, so it has a free pass. And I will tell you in about ten minutes after I've taken it, I could feel the the it, it it flushing through my body and the tingling in my head and everything else from from it rushing through my body and the ketones coming out of my liver. Um, so I can really I can really feel it right. So because it does that, it does open up the veins and everything else in your head. So therefore, a better flow, a blood flow to your brain as well. So therefore, it's better for your memory functions, which I probably should have taken some before this. I did this tonight, so because I seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff. But uh, uh, just, that's what happens, I guess, as you get old, right? So, um, but anyway, so uh, good stuff. Increases memory, um, it boosts your energy, it helps increase your endurance. It helps with weight loss, helps with weight loss, man. It helps lower your cholesterol as well. And it also helps you control your blood sugar as well. So really, really good. So this is one of those fats that they keep talking about, good fats. Um, this is one of the best, right? So as far as I'm concerned. Again, I would be very, very cautious about this. Like I say, I put a teaspoon of this in my coffee. If I put a tablespoon in my coffee, it will upset my stomach So because it's so powerful. So... So a teaspoon or less um, generally does the trick for me, um, you know, but that's, that's everybody's different. So I'm sure if you're doing keto, you, you probably done uh, MTC oil and use it. So, but I like that stuff. Um, and also I'm going to talk a little bit about um, electrolytes. So I do electrolytes. This is a uh, perfect keto's electric lights, electrolytes. So I do do electrolyte every day too as well. So I take that and I put that into a, a cup of water and mix it around pretty good and I drink it. So um, again, this has in it, this is generally it's salt and usually magnesium and potassium um, put together um, into a drink. So that's what it is. Some of them you have to be really, really careful of um, So because they have sugar in them. So I'm really careful and when I read the ingredients and I make sure that there's no sugar in it. So this is using stevia in it, stevia leaves in it. So um, this is good stuff. So <clears throat> again, it's a really, really good electrolyte, right? Um, it helps, it could help with your uh, irregular heartbeats to get them regular again. Um, muscle cramping, aching, uh, tweaking, um, you know, variations in your blood pressure. It helps with all that good stuff. Um, you know, it helps support motion, um, yeah, hydration, of course, everybody knows it supports hydration, um, but uh, supports muscle function as well, supports your nervous system, um, helps with your endurance during exercise, it helps prevent against, again, heart strokes, uh, heart attacks, things of that nature. So, uh, again, um, signs is that you, you are lack of this, so, you know, again, um, muscle cramps, weaknesses. Um, you can start getting bone disorder, or variations in your blood pressure, confusion, um, you know, your inability to concentrate. So maybe I should have drank some of this before I uh, started doing this. Headaches, numbness, tingling sensation, 
those are all things that, that uh, you get from dehydration. And I would say it's really, really easy to get dehydrated. So especially if you're doing keto, because I will tell you that you flush a lot of all fluids out of you. And if you drink, um, if you drink water, you're going to be about 20 minutes later, you're going to be getting rid of the water that you just drank. So you flush out a lot when you're doing that. So, so just so you know, so this is a really, really good thing to have. Um, if you're getting headaches, you're getting cramps and stuff of that nature, um, look for electrolyte and try that and see if that helps you a lot. So um, the last thing I'm going to talk about um, as far as vitamins go is a probiotic. I started taking this probiotic, um, I'm not going to say three or four months ago now. I'm taking it. Um, it actually helped a lot. It helped with me becoming regular, um, going to the bathroom as well. So it really improved my gut health. Uh, you know, I... It just so happens that, uh, you know, I was watching somebody else, uh, Thomas DeLowry, I believe it was, and he was talking about uh, probiotics and stuff of that nature and gut health. He talks a lot about gut health and stuff. So, so I said, I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to give it a shot and I'm going to give it a try and see how that goes. So I started taking the, the probiotics. It really has helped me a lot as far as becoming regular um, and, and, uh, and, feeling a lot better, right? So in this one that I take right here is good. It doesn't have any soy in it. It's gluten-free. Um, again, you know, it's veggie capsules. So um, really, really good. I'm really, really happy with these um, and the way they work for me, right? So again, it's it also does the opposite. If you have diarrhea or something like that, it does the opposite and helps you become more regular as well. Um, and again, the digestive system, if the digestive system is working right, that means that it's absorbing nutrients and vitamins and other things that and when it's not working right, it's, it's, um, you're eating all the stuff and there's too much acidity or something in your gut, then, you know, you're not absorbing that vitamins and the minerals and, um, as well. So <clears throat> there also, there's a, there's a, a little thing about, um, uh, that they talk about the, if you have that little belly that's kind of rounded and it's hard. That's probably because you don't have, you have visceral fat, which is fat around the organs, not fat around your stomach, but are fat around the organs. And that's why it's hard like that. And this will help with, uh, with that as well. So, um, that and eating regularly, like, <clears throat> so you get these from regular, so it's not, not, uh, it's, so it's digesting that fat and getting it out of you as well. Um, again, it promotes heart health. Um, it, it does a lot of stuff just because of the fact it's your immune system and it really boosts your immune system to work. Um, it helps you lose weight. It helps you lose that belly fat. So, um, so I really, really would strongly recommend no matter who you are to take a probiotics just because, um, the way we eat today are, um, we don't eat really good today. So we eat really bad. So therefore our gut health is not very good. So, <clears throat> So that's something that I would really consider. So let's just talk a little bit about, um, real quick, like to finish this up. So um, water-soluble vitamins. Um, water-soluble vitamins are, are like vitamin C, vitamin B12, which are here. I do take a vitamin B12 as well, but <clears throat> you should be taking those on an empty stomach. They dissolve in water um, and they are absorbed into your body pretty, pretty fast. So take them uh, before a meal or a couple hours after a meal um, with a glass of water and they, they, they uh, dissolve really well. Then some of the other ones, uh, the vitamin Ds, the vitamin Ks, um, if you're taking a vitamin A or E or something like that, they're uh, what they call fat-soluble vitamins. And the fat-soluble vitamins dissolve in fat. So they're best taken with a meal, so or like right after you eat. So, um, so when you eat, then you take your vitamin D and your vitamin K tablets and everything else. So, so there's just some timing with those. So just keep that in mind. So um, you don't want to take them all at once. Some you want to take them um, on an empty stomach with a glass of water. Some of them you want to take right after a meal or with a meal. All right. So you want to think about that. Magnesium is okay. You can take that anytime you want. There, there, it doesn't really matter. Um, Zinc is another one that's either like an hour before or two hours after you eat. Um, probiotics, you should be taking that about 30 minutes before you eat because of the fact you want to give it a chance to start creating the cultures and stuff like that. So when you eat, it helps those cultures help you digest that food, right? So um, the collagen and fish oils, those those things you can take anytime. Um, there's no big deal when you take them. So 
So those are some, some of the recommendations. Um, sorry about the slow start and <laughs> going a little sloppy on this. Um, I guess I should have rehearsed it a, a little bit better or, or gotten a little more precise in, in some of it. So, hey, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you subscribe down below. Uh, hit that little bell icon. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you take supplements, what supplements do you take? You know, let me know. Comment down below. Um, I'd really love to hear it. If you Like again, um, anything I can do to help you or any information, additional information that you'd like to hear about it. Um, I'll drink my more MTC oil so that my brain is functioning a little bit better before I do it. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I say, um, I'm kind of rambling on right now. Um, hopefully you have a great day. You guys remember that you guys are awesome. <clears throat> you guys are great. You know, be good to each other. Be kind to each other. Um, you know, smile, say hi, you know, open a door for somebody, um, you know, pay for their coffee, you know, so whatever, you know, just, it's that time of season now we're getting into Christmas time or into the Christmas season, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Let's really get that spirit out there of joy and care and loving. So, <clears throat> all right, I will talk to you next time. Have a great day.